and lyrics of Jerry Herman are not hummed or sung by some female performer. Hello. Now Jerry has three girls singing his hits, and reporter Trudy Haynes talking about Jerry's girls. You know, there will probably be some stern critics who will call Jerry's latest musical lacking in storyline, non-creative, and even maybe non-original. But the Full House audiences could care less, and according to them, Jerry's girls are in like Flynn. First, there are five Jerry's girls who are gorgeous and talented and who bridge the performances between the stars. Carol Channing, who provides most of the comic relief. Leslie Uggams, who makes you stand up and cheer her beauty and talent. And of course, our little Annie, Andrea McArdle, who's all grown up, beautiful and sexy, and belting them out like a dynamic young Ethel Merman. Jerry's Girls is, of course, an all-girl musical production, a showcase for the talents of these women, even in the orchestra pit. They sing some 40 songs. As long as I can stay. They dance. They bring composer Jerry Herman's music to life from his many classic hits, Mame, Dear World, La Cage aux Folies, and Hello Dolly. During intermission, I went backstage to say hello to Jerry's Girls, and we were all excited. The only unfortunate thing is Jerry's Girls will not be coming to Philadelphia for a while. But you hopefully can get tickets this weekend for the pre-Broadway run at the Wilmington Playhouse Theater. I think it was smashing. I loved every minute of it. I mean, it's fast-paced. I'm glad they didn't stick in some silly dialogue. Looks, you know, to be, but it's fast-paced, moving, lots of costumes, lots of beautiful songs, and just great. Looks promising yeah. for that kind of musical. Coming